Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. And uh, the Noahide Law movement is starting to gain more and more traction everywhere in the world, including Gaza. This here, uh, according to what the Post stated there, was a Chabad soldier actually placing uh, a Noahide, seven Noahide Law uh, poster there inside of Gaza there while they're dealing with the conflict. Uh, so we kind of thought that was a little bit weird, and as a result of that, that kind of made me do a little bit more digging, and I'll kind of remind you guys of some other issues as well, but uh, let's see here. Oh, goodness, here, not that one there. We're going to get to some of these here in just a moment here. Also, this one here appeared. This is a billboard in France, uh, in the European Union there. And uh, they're talking about how that these are popping up as well. Uh, and this uh, poster here is, you know, the Noahide laws have arrived. So a billboard in France, the Noahide laws have arrived. And, uh, and it gives you the website where you can learn more about the, uh, the Noahide laws. Uh, 7 L-O-I-S-D-E-N looks like. Ooh, I can't quite make that out there, it, whether it's O-E or O-C or whatever, dot F-R. Uh, so I haven't put punched it in myself just to see. But, uh, you know, people keep thinking this is not going to be an issue, but they don't realize this is very much an issue. And going back here, Donald J. Trump, champion of Noah Hyde Laws. This was back in 2020, November the 3rd article on uh, Israel National News. During his almost four years in office, Donald Trump has been the greatest supporter of Noahide law in U.S. history. This article is dedicated to the observant and traditional Jews, to the growing Noahide movement in the U.S., and to all Americans of faith. My call to you is to personally go to the polls on Tuesday and to support President Donald Trump for re-election. And I will explain the reasons for this in the coming paragraphs. Uh, of course, you know, like they said, you know, the, the big issue for them was the fact that he was a champion for Noahide Law. So just think, if that was the case then, what are they going to be doing next? What's going to be the next uh, point of view? Uh, and then we have here, this one here, Global Surveillance of the Goyim, of course, Great Reset is Noahide Laws. This is the, if I'm not mistaken, that's actually the Brazilian president. Now, the racist and supre uh, supremacist Zionism today want to wipe out Palestinian people. What's more, they want to finish with all Arab people, to finish with all the Muslim people. They have sown an ideology of hate and plundering raids. They have, uh, hang on, they have been sowing it for 75 years with the support of the West. Now, before I continue to play this, I want to play the whole thing for you, though. Uh, this is another place where major movement of, of, of Shapira, uh, uh, the Rabbi Shapira, Messianic Rabbi Shapira, is majorly pushing that the Sephardic Jews of, 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 of this part of the region of the world, South America, need to repent and return to Judaism or underneath rabbis. So let's listen more. Attention, good world that is hearing me. Attention, men and women of the United States, Europe, and the world. They have sown an ideology more dangerous than Nazism. First against the Palestinian people, plundering, raids, extermination, genocide, atomic bombs. Next, it will be against all the Arab peoples, all Muslim peoples. They will come for Christians, Catholics. Let's stop the genocide in time. We must stop the Zionist genocide against the beloved Palestinian people. And uh, he doesn't actually mention the Noahide laws in there, but he, did, he clearly, clearly defines just how evil it is is coming. The Messiah is coming, not simply the redemption of the Jews, but a general change in the entire world. We will recognize that God encompasses past, present, and the future as one. Uh, this here 
is Rabbi Yisrael Ariel Jerusalem, but uh, non-Jews who do not follow the seven Noahide's laws, such as thou shalt not kill and thou shalt not steal, etc. And you can actually hear him. I got the volumes kind of down low. You proclaim peace to them, meaning you ask them, do you follow the seven laws? If so, we will allow you to live. If not, you kill all the male swords, you only leave the women. Kill all of their males. Leave, notice that. You kill all the males, leave only their women. By sword. How do you leave them? They must all agree to follow the seven laws. And that is how you impose the seven laws on that city. Someone just said, we don't have the might to fight. But who decides if we have the might or not? God, he gives you the might to raise an army. Okay. And, and, and what he's saying is what he's saying. I mean, I've listened to it already. It's not, it's not made up. Here's another one. And uh, he says, and it will be the Jewish world that will grow and grow. Yeah, remember, I told you, you know, Jewish people, when I was in Chabad, they believed that you should be slaves as Gentiles. And it will be the nation that will manage the world. We call it Eretz Israel. Why? Because the skin of Tzvi, oh, by the way, he's speaking French, because I spoke French as a kid, so I just realized it as I was hearing him, is the only one that can be pulled. The land when Hebrew will, will stretch it, the whole world will be Israel, and Israel will be Yerushalayim. The only person who will dominate the world will be the Ezra Tzachim. With the Mashiach, this rock that will grow, and it will be the people of Israel. There you go. So now you have your total domination, right? Lovely. Rabbi Mitzrachi, he talks about the... the uh, Bergoy, it's that... Now he speaks English, so we'll, I'll just let you hear him. I have six billion idol worshippers who makes God angry every second of their life. Indian, Chinese, Japanese, uh, Tibet, Nepal, uh, 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 Thailand, uh, so many. India alone is 500 million. China is 2 billion. Uh, so many. 2 billion Christians, which are idol worshippers. Between Chinese, Indi Hindus, Buddhists, and Christian, Christian at least says. six, six and a half billion people are idol worshippers that according to the Torah do not have the right to live. Idol worshipper Goy, it's that penalty. Not only Jews. Even a Goy who bow down to an idol, who, be who believe in JC, deserve... JC is Jesus Christ. Death penalty. You have... All right, there you have it. They deserve the death penalty. I mean, I mean, think about all this nuts, right? Uh, here we go. Here's another one. This again, Rabbi Mitzrachi. Let's listen to what Yerusha, he here. Morasha, Keilat Yaakov. To the community, the family of Jacob. Who is Jacob? Israel. Only the children of Jacob. Any Gentile that wants to convert from other nations, right? He would consider to be a girl. There are two kinds of gerim. You have ger tzedek and you have ger toshav. What's the difference between the terms? When you occupy Israel, there are goyim that lives there. All of them are from seven cursed nations. The Torah said not to have mercy on them. The Torah said not to make peace with them, not to make agreements with them. They're all idol worshippers. God cannot look at them. They worship fake gods. There's nothing Hashem hates more than idol worshippers. Look at all the tsunamis, all the earthquakes, all the tragedies. What countries they hit the most? Thailand, Tibet, Nepal, Japan, China. Places of a lot of idol worship. India, lots of disasters. There's a lot of disasters. Natural disasters. Why? Idol worshiping. There are a few things that make Hashem very angry. Abomination, toeva, homosexuality, uh, gay marriage, all kinds of parades idol worshipping, it's all toeva. Nothing Hashem hates more than these things. 
places like this receive a lot of tragedies. When you come to Israel and you occupy the land, you don't immediately kill the idol worshippers over there. You tell them, we give you an option to repent. Stop with your idols, destroy them. We will give you permission to stay here and to live here and to keep the seven laws of Noah, which every Gentile in the world is obligated to keep by the laws of God. Everybody must keep those seven laws. Whatever you do, as long as you're not an idol worshiper. Because idol worshipping is death penalty for Jews and for Gentiles. It's no difference. For both. Okay, no discrimination. Any idol worshiper is despicable in the eyes of God. Once you're an idol... So there you go. There you go. And it's under the seven Noahide laws. All right, so we got that there. You saw what Trump did there. We already dealt with that. I'm going to come right to that one in just one second. Just make sure I'm not... Okay, I'm not missing any. One to kind of close with this one right here. This just kind of shows you the mindset of Israeli soldiers here. And it's got English subtitles there for you. So I'll read that as we go. He is speaking in Hebrew. So let me just turn it down because I know you won't understand that. For all those asking why there are no educations in Gaza. That's what he says. Oops. We've had a missile. Um, he said, oops, we had a missile fall on them. Then he says, that sucks. Oh, too bad. Chaval. Chaval means too bad. That's how you'll not be engineers. That's how you'll not be engineers anymore. So it's just a mockery. I'll let it play a little louder so you can hear it for yourself because it's pretty short there. But, and there's so many videos coming out just mocking these poor people that are suffering and dying there. Listen in. And shows the college. It's, it's sad. Anyway, Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Uh, thank you for your support. I am working on a video for Patreon. Uh, it's going to be dealing with this object that's been seen around the moon. If you guys, those of you that know about our Patreon channel and watch it, we probably showed some of the first images of that object near the moon back, gosh, ooh, six months ago, courtesy of some friends down in Australia that sent it to us. Uh, but MB333 is also showing some images recently of that. The object's getting larger, and uh, and I've got some thoughts on that I'll share with you on our Patreon channel. Dot com forward slash Israeli News Live. Thank you, and thank you for supporting this broadcast.